Hi guys, today we're going to install Garmin Dashcam Mini in the 2020 Volvo XC40. As you can see, we have previously installed this fine view uh, dashcam, but it's an, a bit an older product, and uh, as you can see, it is actually, even though it's not too big, it is way bigger than uh, the new dashcam mini from Garmin. So we will be replacing this uh, camera. Besides that, uh, as you can see, the old camera has very bulky connector, which is connected to the cigarette lighter. And if you put your phone for charging, uh, it, 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 it is usually in the way. And uh, with a new Garmin dash cam, you can simply use a, a USB port located nearby making this installation a lot cleaner and uh, therefore giving you a way more space. As you can see Volvo XC40 has this huge uh, central piece on the windshield which eats up a lot of space. Uh, because of that we are looking for a smaller size camera and as you can see you'll be, it'll be easy to install this one and hide it uh, out of sight. Right now we will remove the old camera, install the wiring for the new one uh, and in the end uh, we'll show the actual footage from the new Garmin uh, Dashcam Mini. Uh, before we install the camera, we will have to find the proper location for the camera on the windshield. For that, we'll actually have to use uh, the Garmin Drive app uh, and uh, we have to connect the camera using the USB cable that comes in the set. So this is a Garmin Drive app, you can download it from the Play Store. Once you have installed the app, you will be able to see the uh, live feed from the camera. So we'll just press view live feed and it will start to connect with the camera so you can see the blue light here it means the Bluetooth is working and currently we can see uh, in our smartphone what our camera sees now we'll be able to adjust uh, the camera to get a good clear view of the road. Um, this is the location that we chose. Uh, I'll try to show you. This way we still avoid the plastic cover as you can see on the screen and we still will be able to uh, remove the SD card which is located on the left side so you still have access for that as well. Now we will use alcohol to clean the windshield. You, you need to make sure there is no dirt or grease when you install the tape.
and now we're ready to install the new cable so we'll start the installation from the camera as you can see we already have a small hook installed from the previous installation Now we will pull this end of the USB cable through this opening. Uh, for that we'll use uh, the old cable as a fishing wire. Underneath here we'll just hide uh, the wire behind this plastic panel and uh, secure it with tape. As you can see, the length of the cable is more than enough for this installation. As you can see, Volvo even has a small hook for the wire in this vehicle, which is right here. Installation of the wire is complete. Again, I just wanted to point out how compact it is now. It's well hidden, Go, goes into the opening underneath the charging tray. And just one more time, I want to compare the old one, the old connector, to the new installation. So the installation in back order. The installation is complete, as you can see the camera is recording because uh, there is a red light on the bottom. One more time I'll compare the side of the cameras. This is a previous camera that we had here. You can see it is significantly bigger than the new one. Right now we're going for a short drive guys and uh, we'll show you the actual footage of this new uh, dashcam mini. <laughs> 